in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Thank you, Jesus Christ. Ah, my spirit is already charged. Goodness. My spirit is boiling with anger right now. All those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. Rekata po sotoba mante kotoso pretekete lekete tebo kosotoba ta rekete po sotoba mante parekete leka empretekete te bakata bala lempreto so prekete e po shekete te ba rekete rekepa raposko parikete lente posko patikata e lekete posko si baba baba. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you, my spirit is fired up tonight. I don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage, but I'm angry in my spirit tonight. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper look at the number of people trusting God for jobs there's got to be a way of helping God's people are you getting my point there, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people let me tell you something if we cannot help God's people there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity are you getting my point we have no right to stop somebody from to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and God cannot help you I came, I prepared a nice message to come and teach. But my spirit is fired up. Because you see, this is the real problem that is bringing many of us. And if we don't resolve this thing, you can keep hearing the word. But the truth is, you will celebrate testimonies. But when it happens in your life, there's no other message that is stronger than that. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place. Please follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah. Some of you graduated with excellent results. You have served, but your result is like a piece of paper. We need to break that power. Let me tell you, it is not by power. I taught it in the message, give me this mountain. There is a lot more. There is a lot more. Please lift your hands. There are two things I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuke this spirit. For many of you, there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise. You've gone to school, but it's as if you are still in primary school. Even if you are outside, no problem. Just hang on there with faith. God is doing a very prophetic thing tonight. I'm about to rebuke these powers and as I take authority over them the fire of God is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way 
and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my god i thank you i give you all the praise in the name of jesus lift your hands father i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my god at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers i cause powers shake it to the help them ushers i cause powers in the name of jesus i set them on fire let the fire of god move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago i had a story there was someone who wanted to go to nda and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person we are going to pray i don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of jesus i command doors of miracle jobs right now i command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your cv i move the angels of the lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it i pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the lord jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my god because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are working but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing I don't think we're wasting our time this night god is visiting issues and i'm very happy about it hallelujah the next set of people the lord is ministering that i call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting god for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out 10 times tonight don't worry greatly to be praised.
praised, ready to be praised. Father, you reign. Ready to be praised, ready to be praised. Father, you reign. Honestly, I really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for Koinonia because what God is doing in this place, I know that there is an unusual anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, those of you standing, please listen. Don't get too used to just coming out and going back. Listen to me, please. My Bible tells me that children are a heritage from the Lord. Are you getting me? Children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness. Look up, please. Jesus looked at a tree. What did he do to the tree to be barren? That means what is responsible for barrenness? Is that true? Jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren. He looked at the tree. He didn't advise the tree. He caused the tree. So how do you reverse barrenness? Are you listening to me? Jesus looked at a tree that was bearing, at least it had leaves. Are you getting my point? And he caused it. How did he cause it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect otherwise it will hit you now listen i want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth they now tell the man he's impotent low spam or whatever kind of medical terminology huh and then for the lady, they now say she's barring fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb, something has happened. And now, please, if you're a doctor here, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't be offended. I'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence. Are you getting my point? Because this is purely spiritual. Look at me. A lot of people take in most people you see i counsel people all the time it's not what i read in a book it's what i have seen hallelujah the woman takes in huh and then when she takes in you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream oftentimes and another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen she'll wake up in the morning with blood she's lost the child or all kinds of demonic satanic things but the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that means there are handwritings and there are ordinances but the bible says blotting it out hallelujah do you believe the prayer we're going to pray tonight because we are going to deal with this thing there are some the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists. 
if God cannot give children children are heritage from the Lord lift your hands I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself most of you are standing for your loved ones and God opened the womb of Hannah and God opened the womb of Rachel and God opened the womb of Leah whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for I like you to say after me in the name of Jesus I'm a child of God and I declare that my womb is open open to receive and open to give birth normally in the name of Jesus now lift your hands you'll be surprised at what will happen here now then you will know that nothing just happens thank you Jesus Christ hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ my God you are the one doing this I don't even know what I'm doing you need to step in for families we can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive lift your hands please there are lots of chains that will be broken right now thank you Jesus Christ whether for yourself or those you are standing at the count of four just four counts because I see angels with swords Lord let the chains be broken one two three four chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken I cause barrenness I cause it I cause it I command a blessing every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus every barren womb be opened in the name of Jesus everyone called barren all the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs we command miracle children we command miracle babies I come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ I come against the spirit of miscarriage every fibroid in every womb I curse you you will pass out now everyone carrying any growth any tumor any cyst in the name of Jesus whether for you or your loved ones I curse it fibroids go fibroids go without surgery fibroids go in the name of Jesus Christ any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of God that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children I prophesy it I decree it let the power of God bring it to pass hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah now I'm led to pray listen this is a special prayer and please don't be emotional about it there are certain people here you're having acute academic challenges it's not because you are dull your own has become a serious issue you know you need prayer march out quickly march out quickly if you are ashamed sit down on your seats here there are people who are serious you came here tonight your results were released for some of you and you know that your academics is in a state of emergency come out here let's deal with this thing once and for all can you play strings please? We refuse to believe that you are dull the devil is a liar 
Please come quickly. Find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. Pass eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. Next week is a powerful communion service. We'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody. Everybody who comes. I'm going to be laying hands on everybody. Praying in tongues and speaking. Hallelujah. I'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood. Hallelujah. It's going to be a powerful communion service. We'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again. I'm going to lay hands on everybody. Hallelujah. Things must change. We are going to force things to change. Hallelujah. Please, if you can find your way, come in. I, I want to see you, but if you cannot, no problem. We need to rebuke academic issues. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious. Out of him. Now. Come out. I hear the chains falling. Falling. Oh, oh. I hear the chains falling. You must let him go. You are a wicked spirit. I hear the chains falling. See, that power must let you go this night. That power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you? I was the best student in my secondary school. I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever is a wicked and demonic thing what is exam fever it's not because of tension you wrote wayek you wrote jam you entered the university see the the reason can i tell you something listen the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through so they just keep quiet they go to church on sunday and they rejoice they go to church weekdays they rejoice but the truth is this see my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving god more but the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about god is that true it's not enough to just say love god he said how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land take us back to our land and we'll sing the lord's song can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land it's very difficult hallelujah there are some of you right here you are the only ones in your family that are in school and the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means it's because she's part of that word that I just said that's why hallelujah there are some of you they are saying if you don't do well you will just go and get married because this your thing is like you are not moving anywhere. Marriage is not a quick way of escaping. It's not escapism. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you. And oh, see, the Bible says that Jesus opened up their understanding. That means it can be locked. Are you getting my point? Jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you 
many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent we refuse to believe that you are dull kick away that thing i don't care what your results have said Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you listen. What you need is to get serious. As simple as that. For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well. Some of you, what you need is humility. You are not doing well and you are very arrogant. You won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you. In this kingdom, you must be humble. Are you getting me? For some of you, is inferiority complex. Because you went to a secondary school where you used stone. And you, you sat down and the blackboard, somebody holds you. So what? So what about that? And you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody. I can't speak English very well. I'm not as fine as they are. Other people attended Queen's College. And us, we attended school that we are the people that were building the school. As we are attending the lecture. <laughs> so you feel discouraged. No. Tonight, I cancel that pronouncement over your life. Lift your hands. Let me pray and rebuke those spirits now. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me with the symbol. At the count of three, I'm going to pray. Goodness. I'm telling you, the fire of God is going to come on a very, in a very mighty way. Lord Jesus every power holding your academics at the count of three i set them on fire one two three take it now leave them i command those powers be taken from your academics i rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though weeping and just for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a dream though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry bone Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Every spell, every divination over your academics, I set you free now in the name of Jesus. Whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel, I curse that prophecy, I curse that word, I bless you, I bless you prosper i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah 
anyone called God anyone called God there's nobody that God created that is God anyone called God I change that testimony tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the bomb that is in Gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but I prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of God will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory and when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negative lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be open tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your resolve now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Please go back to your seat. Thank you for lifting. 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 God is really dealing with issues tonight. I'd like you to just settle down I'm just don't mind me if you're coming here for the first time tonight please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it hallelujah how many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight whatever prayer you prayed this week God had you maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow they have shaken the heavens Mega. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah praise the lord jesus praise the lord jesus hallelujah i want to pray for a special set of people right now um there are families please can you hear me outside can you hear me say amen okay god bless you thank you there are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything how many of you know what i mean i don't just mean rebellious you have some people 
that even the community around you is tired of parents drag their children and bring them for counseling once i see a mother enter and i see a son following i know that this son has caused headache are you getting me the church is the light of every city if for now we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest we can rehabilitate these stubborn children that's a, st a place to start there are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves huh it's not just guys guys and ladies some of you you are here as i mentioned the case don't just stand for somebody you know that there's this spirit in you it's called the spirit of rebellion there are some of you who still no matter what happened listen we are a family tonight koinonia is not where everybody says tell them or point accusing fingers everybody has something is trusting god to bring him out of are you getting my point so this is a family in this place tonight there are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit. Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, but when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You'll say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance. Quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God now don't get when i talk of deliverance i'm not necessarily talking of turning your head you need a separation between you and that spirit let's define what we call deliverance here so that you don't just think i mean go and fast for 12 days do this uh -uh. what is happening every time the word comes is able to deliver hallelujah so whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself there are some of our brothers here you you love god or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom but this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and say, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing is in your own life, not that of your brother, whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95 percent of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people every time i talk with them some of them begin to cry and they tell me in all sincerity i don't like it are you getting me there are ladies here weak there is no weak you don't follow a man to sleep with him you are born again you even pray in tongues people have told you it's all right you are the righteousness of god but you know 
that that theology is not it's not it's true that you are the righteousness of god but something is happening in your life that is negating that and it must be dealt with there are some of our brothers you love god some of you still as anointed as you are once you just sit down a spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name I don't care what the name is it must bow this night are you getting what I'm saying when I finish then I'll prophesy over everybody everybody must go home with something this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah now those of you standing in front for our time I'll pray with you very quickly I'm not going to ask you what the issue is but I want you to believe listen there are some of you your own issue is money once you see money hi you don't it's like an anointing comes on you once you see money the issue of born again is out of the way please I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue that's what has stopped some of you from getting married you have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire he should back to sender you keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it if you've been laughing about it let me challenge you you better hear what i'm saying and take it as the voice of god i'm not saying there's anything wrong with god blessing you with a millionaire but everybody starts somewhere it's only the grave that you start digging from the top every other thing you start from under hallelujah i'm going to agree with you and those spirits will leave you you will go back home a changed person and you will find out that those laws see do you know the listen let me tell you you are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you if you are still enduring and using willpower you need prayers are you getting me there are men who are not sleeping with ladies but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely that one look it will take one week recovery of one week you will reboot your spiritual life again you need prayers don't let anybody tell you it's normal everybody's like that then what is the purpose of the power of the holy spirit if we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of god is real something can happen to you are you getting my point or you are not stealing you've not carried it it's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet but once you are still struggling with the urge for something you need prayers as simple as that never convince yourself that everything is over yet once you find out that there is something still pushing you you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house he just calls you and says ah I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I pray for them, as I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go. Leave her. Now.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. Go. Hallelujah. Those who are smokers, make sure you join them. I'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking, Indian hemp, benelin, wee wee, everything, join them. I don't care what it is. Once you are smoking something, you need prayers. I'm serious about it, please. I don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking, join them. It's this spirit of rebellion. Go ahead, worship him. Help him. I won't go back. I won't go back. Out. 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 Jesus Christ, I set you free. And right now, in the name of out, out. right now is the moment. Today is the day. I've been changed. I've been changed. I've been changed. I have waited. I have waited. You are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally i'm just praying for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rate does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. 
wait and see after this prayer some of them will follow you for miracle service those who have vowed that they won't come you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation they took your name to prophets nothing happened hallelujah listen i have a very serious word of advice maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it but let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past number two stealing money from people your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life i don't care what revelation of redemption you have you keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken are you getting what i'm saying brothers we we Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codeine. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. That's spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people and you will see the power of God setting these people free there's no need just talking out they are the ones stealing around and if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things they must be delivered this is not just the issue of police station this is the issue of the power of God then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday but there is what we call apostolic reformation. There is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come, please take a powerful worship. Sam, just take a powerful worship as I pray for these people. How many people are left here? All right, let me, if I pray for you, please just step back so that I just finish up with these people very quickly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't care what the issue has been. If you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello? Ladies, if you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher. Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman. Because you have money. And then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah. So that God can now bless you. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their, will, will forgive their sins and heal their land. Hallelujah. Sam, please. Any song? Okay, let's pray quick. Thank you, Jesus. So we say, I set you free.
so the Lord can use her. In the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, everything that sponsors us to many of us, leave her now. everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem you can even call police to come and flog them they can jail them for one week they will come out and repeat the same thing but you try the power of god and see what will happen lift your hands let me pray for you father this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of jesus i declare that beginning from tonight may the lord begin to convict their hearts may they be born again and mightily used by god i prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by god we choose to see the goal that is in them we choose to see the great destiny we declare that their lives are not useless no matter how much they have wasted their life my god gives them another chance in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i've prayed for them on your own path as much as you can talk to them listen it's not just to bring them for koinonia you are anointed you have been using cane to flog them one day get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house you will see the drama of the power of god see this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you if all you are taking back is koinonia messages they will be blessed but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working 
Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat quickly. One last category and we are done for tonight. Goodness. Please don't miss next week's communion service. I already sense that God is doing very, very, very mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I don't want you to just come out emotionally. Hallelujah. Whether you are inside or outside. If you run a business, if you have a business, whether it's a family business or it's your own, I'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around, you know that whether it's a family business, whatever it is, from poultry to whatever, and you think that you want to see the hand of God in your business and that of your family members, please, I'm begging you, let's save time. Hallelujah. If you belong to that category, you know that you just need the touch of God. I want you to come out and stand here. Trust him. Trust him that God will do something. Please, the sound. Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you, will be on deficit. But... You need, you, it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there. But let me tell you, listen, listen. You must get up and do something. The man with one talent sat down. For somebody in this place, this is the message God is telling you. If you, if you are afraid of doing business, you can start a poultry at least. What is wrong with three or four of you? Listen, I'm very serious. Just just stop this let me press this thing down praise god what is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50 50 thousand naira together huh and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you you bought a phone of seventy thousand naira that's your destiny there you are holding it on your hand and moving around are you getting what i'm saying I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. 
seek advice we teach on finances to be able to help us i don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke and now is the time to start start and fail honorably fail honorably and do it again it's better than sitting down or god jordan is here or, or, jordan wave your hand or god jordan is here i knew when he started his bookstore the room was so small it was just like this little place but today god has honored him He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there is something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to, to... You see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it and we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You, and you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what you are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt, and then we will go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything they have said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing. Fear of... I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life, it takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plot? I know Selena Platts. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plot. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes... And you believe you are prepared to stand. We are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. 
you are a crook who will, say, will pray who will send you away or will pray for you if you become a headache will send you away clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity fail honorably will clap for you and pray for you again but don't sit down and not do anything hallelujah and then start small some of you want good luck jonathan to call you to be his secretary start small start small start small how many of you make um maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that how many look at look at your money see all your money here everybody how many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics you see that look at i'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around but there there are thousands of people please i'm challenging you take it very seriously Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. Ah! That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin. On your, we won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. To here. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say I'll be excellent. I'll be excellent. How many of you fry chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin, you are doing bones, you are doing uh, every, no, no, specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades, you are, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small, but you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, was you Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? 
at least you win is not a scam we all know that is genuine how many of you applied you see that whereas there are people i know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals 10 million naira not debt grant that the government is giving and let me tell you they are very fair i know some of our people here who got it and i know they are very fair and genuine how about submitting a proposal or at least partnering with somebody else you can partner with somebody else by the time the money comes so a few of our people here got got it brothers and sisters let's wake up god is talking to us hallelujah Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadubelo University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. An ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1000 a bit 2000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. 
Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying. Design something decent. How many brothers dress well here? There are some of you who can sell nice suits. You may not be able to afford certain levels. Maybe 30,000, 40, 50, 100. But you can start small. Many brothers here don't know where they sell suits. Why don't you bring it closer home? Hallelujah. Some of you draw. How many of you draw? You are painters or you are artists. You, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your... Have you tried... To do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday you can say I can point, paint your picture 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks have you done anything so let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step hallelujah let's lift our hands thank you Jesus as we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor your father we lift our hands and worship as we bless your holy name for you are there you do miracles so great Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for your people by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon every business in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your businesses will rise beyond these limits. From the realm of thousands, we take it to the realm of millions. From the realm of millions, we take it to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and billions in the name of Jesus. For those of you trusting God for creative ideas, may my God give you creative ideas in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who started and failed, I bring a word of encouragement. Go back again. Restrategize and go back again. And may my God lift your hands this time around. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that your products and your services, whatever it is that you have to do, beginning from Zaria here or whatever your locality is, may the Lord announce it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the spirit of excellence come upon you that you will package and design your products with top quality and excellence. And may it bring you abundance. May it bring you plenty.
in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke the spirit of fear fear of failure fear of loss fear of defeat I curse it in the name of Jesus I command every dry bone in this place to come at life leave again all the ideas all the partnerships all the sponsorships all the endorsements that you need to rise from where you are to the next level may my God give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus may my God give it to you hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat quickly let's celebrate Jesus Christ keep standing as I make the altar call hallelujah I'm sorry for tonight I couldn't teach God just took it in another dimension and we give him all the praise it doesn't happen all the time but we thank him because I know that so many testimonies will come here please don't be afraid to come share your testimonies hallelujah now you're here in this place I know we've been standing please let's stand one more time just to honor those who will come into the kingdom right now hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah now you came to this place tonight and you heard me talk about different areas and there are some of us tonight that will be saying man of God I want you to help me I'm tired of living my life the way I want I've never really made a decision for Jesus Christ or there are some of you who have made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ but for some reason you have derailed and you want to come back to Christ you want to lay aside all kinds of habits we have prayed and you're saying Lord give me a fresh start right now please wherever you are inside or outside I would like to pray with you find your way to the front right now celebrate them as they come don't be afraid God bless you God bless you he's not the only one please wherever you are I want you to come inside and outside inside and outside the Lord is giving you a new beginning tonight don't sit back don't be ashamed of anyone God bless you God bless you Jesus is calling you God bless you a new experience is a new day for you it's a new day for you God bless you keep coming they are coming from outside celebrate them God bless you God bless you God bless you hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for taking the boldness to come out your life will never be the same it all starts with Jesus hallelujah from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you lift your hands all of you here and say after me Jesus I love you with all my heart tonight I repent of my sins change me build me make me and use me for your glory I declare and I make up my mind that I will walk with you forever I denounce sin and Satan I receive eternal life in my spirit I declare that I'm born again Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a great person in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you father thank you for these ones you brought them out by your power sustain them their lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus from today they begin a journey forward ever and backward never I give you all the praise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah Thank you so much for coming. May God bless you. Now, I want you to just follow the ushers, the guys with the tags. Just follow them and they'll have your details. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those worshiping with us for the first time, I'd like you to stand up and please come out here. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please come out. We celebrate you. Celebrate all of them. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Those outside, don't sit back. If this is your first time, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming.
Hallelujah. Joseph, good to see you. Give me five. Hallelujah. We're neighbors. We're neighbors in Joss. I'm happy to see him. Hallelujah. He was a student of Foot Mina. Thank you, Jesus. We're happy to see every one of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Some of you came from far and near. And the Lord will bless and increase you in the name of Jesus. Whatever your desires are, I want to assure you that they will be met in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same because the Lord brought you here to bless you and to increase you. We honor you, we celebrate your grace, and we thank you for coming. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching